Welcome to the YouTube channel. Welcome back, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully, you had a wonderful weekend, and we are finally here to the Tag Team Beatbox Champion Grand Final GBB 2023 Rogue Wave versus Gyro. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into it. I've been waiting for this one. Rogue Wave, their heads are in the game. Every single round is methodically thought out. It seems so clean. They have the battle beats, the crowd participation, the technicality, melodics. And I feel like their style translates so well, but they are going against a very strong opponent, a new contender that has garnered a following throughout this journey, throughout this adventure on GBB. They've seemed to get a a lot of the crowd on their side and their beats are very unique. They do remind me of some of the old school tag teams where you had one person singing and the other person kind of carrying the percussion. The way that they do it just feels very refreshing. And who knows? They may pull a rabbit out of their hat for a beat and surprise everybody. It cuts us off guard, but they have a huge hill to climb. They want to win this championship. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, drop the L. Hit the bell. Let's go. Are you ready? Yes. NBA, let's go! Yes. First up, ooh la la. Give it up for Rogue Wave. They're looking comfy up there. River Collapse Rogue Wave versus some of the strongest beatboxing I've heard from them. From Japan! Nihon kara! Give it up for Gyro! Hit him with the glitch. Although they're, they're looking pretty comfy up there too. Are you ready for the tag team finals? Oh please, yes. Not good enough, are you ready for the tag team finals? <laughs> yeah. We have Gyro versus Rogue Wave. Gyro won the coin toss, chose Rogue Wave to go first, battling for $15,000, the title of GBB Champions 23. Let's get into it. I say the trois, you say the deux, no. Left, Rogue right, Wave, side to side, everybody. Off. In trois. Total mood switch. Maybe that's why. 
Different, switch, keep it catchy. Is it able to match? Like it's really, oh, wait. Hey, hey. They got melodies too. was the finals. Good. GBB 23 make some noise for the tag team finals. It oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. To Road wave from champion. start to finish. Just brought yo, yo, all the elements no you want. Us. Please join us different. on the stage. I need what to have say? Rogue Wave. Are they going to be back to back? And Gyro! Let's 
see. I'm so happy Gyro are here though. Like they definitely deserve to be right. here. They had Bro some longevity to them. Gyro on this side. You think maybe they would only passing have the a torch few along is supernova. To... They stayed all right. Stayed strong. The winners once well. again will be going home, splitting twelve thousand dollars. Each man ni sen dolo kakutok sere shoshawa. Each of them will be receiving the Abirax jacket. Shosha ni wa yoshiokin dake dake naku Abirax san kara teikyo sareta jacket to to Roland san kara no kochira. Each of them will also be receiving the V Moda headphones. And last but not least, each of them are getting a Roland Boss Mark II. Mark II no loop station mo mo la loop station. The prize pack is also included with some other goodies. But let's get to this. Do you guys want to find out who your champions are? Minasan, dare ka shirita desu ka champion wa. From the bottom to the top, right now, GB23 live and direct in Tokyo. Your Tag team champions are Rogue Wave. They put in the work. You can tell over the past couple of years, being champs of last year. Individually, they've gotten stronger, and just putting them together. I mean, it's like cheats. Ooh la la. You're hacking when you put them together, but yo, Gyro, uh, look at the support they get. They deserve it. They deserve it. You wouldn't know their name. I wouldn't know their name if they didn't get this far, that this put them on the map. But, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of this grand final? We got here. Finally, it was a uh, it was a journey. There were some great beats, some great battles. It wasn't as hardcore as I wanted it to be. I mean, having the stage be as big as it is and having the crowd be as big as it is, there's a bit of distance. So it feels a little bit different than the other years where you felt the beatboxers were immersed a little bit more with the crowd. And I felt like the beatboxers were a little bit more cutthroat. This year so far, there's only been a few counter beats that we heard in the small final, but I'm hoping in the battles to come that we hear some pretty sick counter beats and not just planned out routines because those are easy to stick to. But when beatboxers to me really shine and really prove themselves is when they can counter beat and almost sprint ahead of the other beatboxer in the battle and it's just so fun to watch that type of stuff so hopefully we get to see more of that but regardless this was a great palette cleanser to get back into beatbox reacting with you guys and hopefully you've been enjoying if you have drop that out hit the bell and i'll see you on the next one peace out shake them and